Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel video tutorials. In this video, I'll be demonstrating X-bar and range charts. For this example, I'll be using a sample data set in Sigma Excel called Catapult Data X-bar Control Charts. To open the file, click Sigma Excel, Help, Sample Data, and then double click the file Catapult Data X-bar Control Charts .xlsx. This is distance data for a catapult for five operators. Each operator uses the catapult to fire the ball three times. The target distance is 100 inches, with an upper specification limit of 108 inches and a lower specification limit of 92 inches. We're only going to use these first 20 subgroups to determine the control limits. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, X bar and R. Select Subgroups Across Rows and Shift-click Shot 1 and Shot 3. Click Numeric Data Variables, Y. Select Operator and click Optional X-Axis Labels. Check Test for Special Causes. Click OK. The resulting X-bar and R chart shows that this is a stable catapult process. Subgroups 21 to 25 were actually added afterwards, so we will now add the additional data to the chart that we excluded earlier. Click Sigma Excel Chart Tools, Add Data to this control chart. The remaining data has now been added. Note that the Add Data button does not recalculate the control limits. With the inclusion of the new data, the X-bar chart and test for special causes report clearly shows that this process is now out of control with an unstable mean. The process must be stopped and the out of control action plan must be followed to determine and fix the root cause. The test for special causes report provides more details on the new instability. In this case, the assignable cause was a change of rubber band requiring a reset of the pullback angle. The use of tests for special causes gave us an early warning of this at observation number 22. Note that the range chart is in control even though the X-bar chart is out of control. The tests for special causes can have defaults set to apply any or all of tests 1 through 8. To view the defaults, click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Test for Special Causes Defaults. Note that test 1 is always applied. Test 2 can be set to 7, 8, or 9 points in a row on the same side of the center line. Test 3 can be 6 or 7 points in a row, all increasing or decreasing, and test 7 can be set to 15 or 14 points in a row, within one standard deviation from the center line on either side. Note that these defaults for tests 1 through 8 will apply to individuals and X-bar charts, while tests 1 through 4 will be applied to moving range, range, standard deviation, and attribute charts. The rubber band was changed during this process, so we'll add a comment to the data point where this change occurred. Select Sigma Excel Chart Tools, Add Data Label. Select Text Label and enter Rubber Band Changed. Click on the data point to add the comment. Click Done. Now we'll look at the process capability indices for this process. Select Sheet 1 and click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, X bar and R. Check Use Entire Data Table and press Next. Select Shots 1 through 3 and click Numeric Data Variables Y. Click Advanced Options. Enter an LSL of 92, Target of 100, and a USL of 108. Click OK. Click the X bar in our Process Capability sheet to view the Process Capability report. Note the difference between PP and CP, PPK and CPK. This is due to the process instability. If the process was stable, the actual performance indices PP and PPK would be closer to the CP and CPK values. After creating a control chart, you can specify subgroups or rows to exclude by using the Exclude Subgroups tool. Click on Sheet 1 and click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, X bar and R. Select Shots 1 through 3 and click Numeric Data Variables Y. 
Click OK. The control limits here were calculated including subgroups 21 to 25, which have a known assignable cause. To calculate the control limits excluding subgroups 21 to 25, click Sigma XL Chart Tools, Exclude Subgroups. Select Show Highlighted Points for Excluded Subgroups and enter 21 through 25. Click Exclude Subgroups. The control chart limits are recalculated and the excluded subgroups are highlighted. This concludes the XBAR and Range Control Charts tutorial video. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.